Hello, welcome back to part two of this foot roll tutorial. Hopefully I didn't scare you off with the first part. We're gonna load in a NURBS box to be the foot controller. You could use a square as well, but I like the box. I'm gonna import in one that's just made out of one NURBS curve. Import it in here. Uh, it's way too big for this setup, so I'll scale it down. So it fits the foot nicer. There we go. Let's take a look from the front view. Scale it a little bit more. That looks like it's pretty much good enough. There we go. Modify, freeze transformations. And I'm going to move the pivot point with the D button and move it to the ankle. And I'm going to take this toe pivot group and parent it to my foot control. I'm going to call this foot control. Take the toe, use my middle mouse button to drag it down to the foot control. There we go. Now when I move my foot control, my leg should move. When I pivot it, the whole foot should pivot from the ankle, which is good. Now I'm going to add a custom attribute to this box. To do that, go to Edit, Add, add Attribute. I'm going to call it Roll. Uh, the minimum value is going to be negative 10. The maximum is 10, default 0, it's going to be a float value, hit add. Now you see roll in there. I'm also going to add one called toe curl, or maybe just toe. Have it negative 10, 10, and 0, and hit add. If you want to get rid of some attributes in here, like we're not going to use scalar visibility, you could use the channel control box here. Let's pick scale XYZ and visibility and hit the move button. Now they're not going to be keyable, they're going to be non-keyable and hidden. That cleans up our channel control over here. Now we're going to use set driven key to have the foot roll with the value of roll. When the roll value changes back and forth, you can use your middle mouse button to change the value. We're going to have the foot animate like it's walking. Open up the set driven key window under animate set driven key set and we'll have the box be the driver. That's the thing that's driving this relationship. Hit load driver, pick the roll attribute and for the driven part we're going to have the toe pivot, the heel pivot and the ankle group be driven. Hit load driven, pick all three of these and pick the X rotation. Now let's double check that our foot roll is set to zero, our foot is flat, and I'm going to hit the key button. That sets up the relationship, so when the foot rolls at zero, the foot is flat. Now I'm going to take my roll value, make it go to negative 10, and I'm going to have the foot pivot on its heel, so pick heel pivot, and then rotate it back as far as you want to do. Maybe I'll have negative 50 and then hit the key button. Now let's take our foot roll value, take it to zero and see the foot goes flat. Now I'm going to take the roll value and bring it to up to five. I'm going to bring back the set driven key window. Let's take our ankle group and roll it forward so it looks like our heel is lifting off the ground. Something like that will be okay. Hit the key button. The next one we're going to do is change roll to 10. And I'll zero out the ankle group's roll. And I'm going to have it all be on the toe roll. So I'm going to take the toe pivot, have it go up to the tip of its toe. Maybe 50 will be good. Get your set driven key window back up and hit key. And now when you make our foot roll value go back and forth, it looks like the foot is pivoting from its heel, hitting the ground, rolling up to the ball of the foot, and then goes to his toe. This is really good for walking type animations, and most every character rig will have this kind of setup. It's really handy. The last thing I'll do is add that 
toe control, I'll have the box selected. Now I'm going to have the toe attribute drive it, and it's going to drive the toe group. So hit load driven, and it's going to be the toe group's X rotation. When that value is zero, I want my toe flat on the ground, so hit key. When that toe value is positive, I'll have the toe rotate up, maybe negative 50 or something's good. Hit key, and then take that toe value, bring it to negative 10, and I'll take the toe group and rotate it downward. Now if you're wearing shoes you really can't do this but for cartoony type animations to add some flap to your foot as it raises off the ground that this can be fun. Might as well give more options to your animators or yourself and hit the key button. Now when I grab the box and take the toe value back and forth you see the toe will curl up. So you can do some fun things like take the roll up like this and then as it starts to come down you could take the toe have it drag a little bit and then have the foot hit have the toe slap down to zero then take the roll have the roll start to come up and take the roll all the way up for your step that's the basics of doing a foot leg with roll one thing we can also go back to is now our uh, pull vector controller We'll move the leg back and forth and keep the foot planted. And then you can move your thigh down here and it can squat and you're, you can see the twist a little better. So that's the basics of doing a leg setup with set driven key, whoops, <laughs> with set driven key to get the foot to roll. Hope you enjoyed it.